Well, y'all, we're on the road again. Sometimes we travel so that I can take photos and video for you. And sometimes we travel because we want to go to a favorite place that our family enjoys. This trip is a little of both. Sugar, will you shut the door? Thank you. Welcome to the Lost Cabins on Petty Jean Mountain. They're hard to see because they're the same color as the trees, but I'm counting one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, thirteen deer here. Mark just threw out a bunch of corn and they're like, like they're just not afraid of anything. It's amazing to stand here and watch them. I don't know what I said a minute ago, but I've counted 16 now. Hello. There's coffee in there. Yeah, I'm about to get some. You want to sip mine? No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Count 16. That's what I got. They're hard to count though because they'll, you know, run around and then, you know, there's some in the back sometimes that come out of nowhere. You don't even have your shoes on yet? You on video? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so it's tradition to go to Mather Lodge to watch the sunset. So that's where we're going. Um, but I'm I'm pretty sure we already missed the sunset. I'm just waiting on the man because he didn't even have his shoes on. Do you have the keys? <laughs> uh, there are no keys. The band keys? Yes, I have those. What about... Uh, do you know how to lock this? I would push the big button on the top. That says large? Yeah. Anyway, we were watching the deer and drinking coffee and so I think we missed the sunset. But we're going to go anyway. Because there's something about just walking through the lodge that feels vacation-y and cozy. You want to say hi? The lodge is amazing. <laughs> say, say I'm the one holding everyone up because I didn't have shoes on. We missed it. It's already down. Come on, I found one. Mm -hmm.
Well, it's the start of a new day, and you know what that means. It's time to perk the coffee and make some breakfast. When we're traveling, we generally like to start our day with some scrambled eggs. So I'll put some butter into a hot skillet and whisk up about eight eggs or so. When cracking eggs one-handed, the secret is all in the wrist. Let's give them a little whiskey whiskey and add a little milk to make them fluffy. The butter is sizzling, so it's time to pour them in. While that cooks, I'm gonna cut up a pineapple. I brought this pineapple from home because I didn't want it to go bad while we were gone, so we'll just eat it for breakfast. I love having fresh fruit for breakfast along with our eggs because it just keeps things from being so plain. And clearly I'm a whiz with a knife. Just look how quickly I can chop this pineapple up. Oh yeah, eggs don't get much fluffier than that. We'll melt a little sandwich cheese on top because that's what I have on hand and voila breakfast. Good morning. There are no windows, come on sweetie, in the bedrooms of this cabin. So we slept past nine because the sun didn't wake us up, which is not bad at all. But now we're going to go tour, we're going to go walk around the property and see what other cabins we can find. I think they're all empty. Housekeeping! That was soft. It's locked. <laughs> <laughs> this look, I think this is one of the one room cabins. Mark's supposed to meet us later, the owner, to show us around a little bit, but this one's pretty cute. I like that one. And it looks like next door, there is an identical cabin. Okay, so the one next door seems to be empty. I'm trying to find the light. Okay. One room cabin. I like it. There's light. Is this an actual roll top desk? Let's see. It's kind of hard to do one handed. Yep. That's pretty. Little bathroom, pedestal sink, and a corner shower. Okay, here's the other side. There's a little table and a, um, what would you call that, babe? Uh-oh, I bet that's Mark. Okay, so that was Mark. He's headed to meet us, but here's the little kitchen and there's a table. So this is, this is a nice place for, um, a couple's getaway or a single person or I could just come up here and stay for a while and use the desk and get a lot of work done. So this is the brand new pavilion that they built in April. Um, and I know that because I read the concrete. Um, and then it looks like there's four of these single cabins. Um, and then there's some bigger ones too. Like ours is a two bedroom. But then 
there's a four bedroom, which I'm gonna go find. Okay, we found another single. Well, this is a, oh, this is cool. So you get a, a table, a kitchenette, uh, that's mine, and a uh, twin, and then there's a little, thank you, babe. Oh, one of them was called the beach cabin. Maybe this is it. Cool. So we got to meet Mark and hear the story about the lost cabins. And what's interesting is all of these cabins up here, he built in just a few short years. Bought the property in 2018 and started building from there and through building through COVID and all that. And we know, you know, how that all was, but they haven't been here very long at all. Anyway, a lunch break before we see the two biggest cabins. When we travel, our go-to lunch is usually hot dog sandwiches. Well, especially when we're camping, but since this was just a quick trip, I packed stuff to make hot dog sandwiches for lunch. Okay, so here we go. We are gonna slice the hot dogs lengthwise and put them in a hot skillet to get them nice and cooked up and toasty. Once they're all kind of brown and sizzly, we'll take them out and we will put in more hot butter and start toasting our bread for sandwiches. It's kind of like a grilled cheese, but with hot dogs. I always fold them in half for the kids because they're easier for their little hands to hold. Now me and the man like our hot dog sandwiches with a little bit of avocado because we're fancy like that. Now that everybody's full, and content we're gonna check out this tree house it's right across the street from or right across the yeah street from cabin we're staying in the views are beautiful from the side porch Ooh. This one's pretty cool because of all the big windows and it has a nice living area and then like a galley kitchen. But then also there is a loft and I will take you upstairs because I haven't seen it either. There, look at these rails. Hmm. Pretty cool loft. Oh, with a half bath. This last cabin is, hang on, let's zoom, is a um, dog trot style. So it's two rooms, if I'm remembering correctly, we're gonna look, separated by this porch area. Okay, the James West cabin. Oh wait, okay, so this side is two rooms all on its own with a big window. And then it goes back out to this shared area. And there's another cabin on this side and big bathroom another bedroom a loft upstairs and now guess what the deer are back
Then what's the barrel monkey? Oh, that could be a monkey too. That could be a monkey. Well, that's a Temperature Moralton, Arkansas. It's 53 degrees and clear in Moralton. Doesn't it feel colder to you than that? It feels a lot colder, but not by the fire. It feels pretty good in here. It's a new day and the deer are back. Every single morning that we have been at the Lost Cabins, we have woken up to deer right out in front of our cabin. And what's neat is every day we get to watch Mark come throw deer corn so that they'll keep coming in front of our cabin. Okay, funny story. There's a Sasquatch statue right there to the left of his golf cart. It's about eight feet tall and metal. And when we first arrived, it was further in the woods and to the right side. And then as we stayed there, Mark slowly moved it further and further to our cabin until I thought I was losing my mind. Good morning. It's another beautiful day on Petty Jean Mountain. We can't seem to ever come to Petty Jean without coming in the visitor center, even though we don't always buy anything. But is this different than the one you had? We don't have this one. Yes. But you like to look at it anyway, because it's covered. Right? No, no, we don't, we don't have this one. This. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't think we have that one. I've talked to you all a lot about how Petty Jean State Park got its name and how they think they got its name. This is a carving of Adrian Dumont, um, known as Petty Jean, which is one legend or theory of how this mountain got its name. This is the old pioneer cabin at Petty Jean State Park and it was built in 1845 and nine children were raised in this cabin and five of them were born here. I'm going to show you the inside. There's a fireplace, some sort of contraption, a back door, Maybe a side door. It's a really small cabin, but I bet it was warm and cozy in the winter. We came out to Bear Cave because it is a short and very satisfying trail here at Petty Jean. Um, anyway, this is a cool little uh, crevice that you can walk through. And then this rock here is amazing to me like it's just pitted they told us what kind of rock it was one time but i don't remember um but then you can walk through all of these boulders and passageways slot, slot canyons thanks babe and it's it's just amazing look at this It's cold down here too. Okay, so we have limited time before sunset, which is why we're doing this short tra trail. Can't talk today. Um, but Timothy wanted me to mention that we're not weenies. We've done um, Seven Hollows, and actually we've done every single trail at this state park. And um, so this is just a quick, a quick hello at Bear Cave. And I'm going to show you, since it's winter, um, you can see a lot more. There's some pretty awesome views here. 
What are you wanting me to look at? Oh yeah, look at that. And then the actual bear cave. Which way is the, it's behind me? Yeah, it's behind me. We'll go look. This is Mather Lodge from Bear Cave Trail. Normally, it's not visible with the leaves on the trees, but now we can see it clearly. Yeah, it's pretty amazing. This is Bear Cave, or at least what we call Bear Cave. But anyway, I'll take you inside this one. It's pretty awesome to walk in here. You can imagine what it might have been like to take shelter in here. Do you need a cup of coffee in there? Would be nice. Is that what they call carpet? Maybe. You want to touch it, buddy? It's pretty cool. All right, babe. Are these the carpet rocks? No. Yes? I think, but I know it has something to do with iron levels in certain parts, and so the water runs around the, the parts that have the most iron, so you see those little lips sticking out where it's denser or whatever. So it washes out part washes of the rock? Washes out the rest and leaves the harder stuff. Cool. We can call him Interpreter Timothy. <laughs> Thank you for sharing your knowledge of carpet rocks. Oh yes, you're welcome. <laughs> a squeaky door we came back to Mather Lodge because it calls to us like a magnet oh look they have the fire built and nobody is here this time but me um, honestly though last time we were here they had a coffee station but they didn't have any coffee sitting out, so I came to investigate. Bummer. They only do coffee. The coffee station, apparently, is only open from eight to nine in the morning. Eight to nine! Like, I need coffee all day. But they said, you can get coffee in the restaurant. But I have to pay for coffee in the restaurant. I wanted the free coffee. Oh well, I'll make my own back at the cabin. You see what I'm talking about? There's that Sasquatch statue again, but this time it's on the right side and closer to our porch. Thanks, Mark. Now all we have to do is wait on the deer to come back. There they are. They come back almost immediately every time. Good morning. Today is leaving day. We have to give up our sweet little lost cabin and we're moving on to the next place. So that means packing and doing all of our cleanup so we can get on the road.
Well, friends, thanks for spending the last few days with me at the Lost Cabins and Petty Jean State Park. I hope you had a great time, and I will see you on the road. Hit that subscribe button, and be sure to follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, and TikTok. See you later.